Wow. Here we are again. Jim Sunderworth from the Swing. Well, you know, we've really been focusing on one of the greatest psalms that uh, I believe was ever written. And I, uh, David, he knew what he was talking about. He had been a shepherd. He had worked with sheep. Now he's a king. But he's a shepherd king. He has a heart for God. He has a right attitude. Because he, he knew that if if people got this concept, if they understood what he understood, they would be at peace like he was, even though he had to run from an enemy for 10 years. Yet God still gave him a peace in all of the confusion. He knew God was good. Would you put the 23rd Psalm with me again, please? Let's see if you got it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We need to quote that every day. But let me tell you, I've been illustrating a, a phrase out of that for a, a few times. Now I illustrated thou shalt not want with my mom, and I illustrated the fact that he maketh me lie down in green pastures, what happened to me. So I've got one more I want to share with you. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now, listen. As I was traveling and doing records and doing albums back in the day, uh, I had a man come up to me and he said to me, he said, Jim, I like what you're doing. I, your, your music's uh, ministering to people's hearts. He said, I want to book you. I want to book you. I want to be your agent and I promise you that you'll be taken care of. I said, well, let me pray about it. Uh, and so I had to go to Miami. So I went to Miami and I said, Lord, is this what you want me to do? I, I said, man, the offer's great. Uh, so I went to Miami and I went to this little church and the church had a, bless its heart, it had a dead tree in front and there was no grass. And um, I went in and the guy didn't, the pastor didn't even know my name. And uh, he said, I want you to sing in Sunday school. And uh, he said, if you go past 11 o'clock, I'll take the mic away. I'll never forget that. So I got up to sing that morning, had a lot of tapes, and he didn't, he's, he's, all the tapes scared him because I sang with, with the music tape. So it scared him, he was kind of rough on me. Well, when we, I started singing, and at 11 o'clock, this man walks up to me and says, can you keep on? I said, yes. I went on singing, and we had a service that day. We had revival, I mean, a man got saved, a young person got saved, a lady in the back, she had her handkerchief, she said, oh God, revival. And the, and the guy came up to me and he said, I, I, I have nothing to say. And he said, this, this is, the, I'm so glad you could go on. Well, we had revival that day. I'm telling you, we didn't get out of there till one o'clock. And, and I'm as, just as shocked as everybody. I mean, I, I was kind of upset. He didn't know my name. <laughs> anyway, so uh, after it was over, after that service was over, we were walking out and the, and the pastor put his arm on my shoulder and said, Jim, um, I was quitting today. This is my last day. I've been upset. I've been frustrated. But he said, God spoke to my heart today. And he used you. And this was a divine appointment for me. Thank you for coming. I'm going off. When I got back up and when I got on the plane to come home, the Lord said, now that's my booking. I want to order your steps according to to me, I, uh, do it uh, for his glory, for his purpose. And you know, I went back and I said, you know, I'm gonna live and sing by faith. And I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna go this route. I'm just gonna wait on the Lord. And, and where I go, I know that he has me there, not because of a booking agent, but because of the Holy Spirit's ordered my steps. And that, I'm telling you what, that was 100 years ago. No, not quite, but it's been a long time and God has never forsaken me. And he's, he's led me in the righteous path for his name's sake. It's not for Jim Sunderworth. It's for his name's sake. He takes foolishness to confound the wise. And no flesh with glory in it. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what it means to me. That's why this song means so much to me. It's because I've experienced it. And I've experienced it today. I'm here today because of it. You too. Trust him. Father, be with us. 
Be with us. In Christ's name, amen. <laughs>